Hey there! Wow, you look excited today. I'm... These stories are really doing it for you, huh? I'm really happy to hear it. Oh! Yes, Daphne. You're right, it really is good she found people like Medusa. Who could help her? Everyone deserves that. Alright, alright, enough of that now. You want to hear what happens next, right? Brilliant! Let's get to it. Sing, O oh muses, of the daring and bold Atalanta, whose plans and heart have had quite a rough go of it lately. Muses great, grant me the ability to sing to you the hymn of Nosos may be rusting. Error. Error. System damage. Critical. Shutting down. Oh, damn it. My head. Echo! Echo! Atalanta! Atalanta, are you okay? Atalanta? Oh, stars, there you are. Medusa's been worried sick. Echo, come on, love, answer me! No, 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 you're okay. You've got to be okay. Come on. We've been through worse than this, right? Haven't we? You're stronger than this, damn it. I... System reboot! Nymph model number 2246, artificial intelligence starting. Please stand by. Echo! Oh, bloody hell, you scared. Error. System damage. Cri cri critical. Sh shutting no, down. No, 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 no! System You should probably leave her be for now. I haven't had a chance to assess the damage, but from the looks of it, she's not in good shape. At all. And Daphne? What about her? <gasps> oh, stars Daphne. She's... I mean, she's using Echo as a host server, so as long as Echo's offline, Daphne will be too. Oh, stars, I can't believe. So, I'm assuming that's not good, then? Well, it's, I mean, there are things I could try, but stuff like this is really complicated and fiddly, and I don't know if Medusa, I- Medusa, look at me. Calm down, okay? Focus on what we can do now. Will Echo and Daphne be okay? I, um... Okay, like I said, I haven't checked them out yet, but if she can come back on, even temporarily, they should be okay. I've still got their backups, we can get them running again. Okay, can... the day is right, we gotta get a move on. You just rest, love. I'll, I'll find a way to fix you up, I promise. Maybe it was too much to hope for to think Echo might have made it out unscathed. The crash had already messed the Argo up pretty bad, not to mention Medusa's project and Medea's meticulously organised supplies. But, I don't know, she... <laughs> Crikey, this is a mess. My head is killing me. The rough landing was not fun for my back, and okay. Echo... can you breathe with me? I... Shush. Try it with me. Inhale to four, exhale to six. Can you do that? In... And out. Again. In. And out. Breathing... helps. I'm still losing it a bit, and there are definitely tears in my eyes. But I need to be less embarrassed that I'm breaking down in front of Medea, and more thankful that I'm further away from a panic attack than before. I'm the captain. I should be a leader, not a nervous wreck. How are you doing now? I'm... I'm fine. Come on, we're wasting daylight. Do so. Any updates on the ship? It's not looking good. From a preliminary scan, we got hit harder than we thought. We'll need to get help, more parts, more fuel, more everything. All right. All right, I'll stay with the ship while you two can go no. to the... Sorry? No, just listen to me. I'm the captain. I can sort this out. Medusa, you can fix this, right? Uh, maybe? It'd take a while, but I guess I could try. Great! Hop to it then. Atalanta, honestly, some of the damage seems really rough. Medusa's a coder, not an engineer. At this rate, we might be better off commissioning one of the locals. Are you kidding? No, I'm not going to get some random mechanic to fix my ship. What if they hurt Echo even more? Look... I hate the idea as much as you do, but it's our only option at this point. You both just stay here and fix what you can while I go get some supplies. Oh, 
What's wrong with Medea's plan? I don't know if I can fix the Argo by myself. It won't. This just makes more sense. We already have three people, that's plenty. Come on, we'll get it done in a jiff. What is your deal? Why are you being so... <sighs> Fine. Not sure what else I expected from you. At least take Medusa with you so she can pick out what she needs. I would appreciate that. No! I mean, it would be better if they got started now. The sooner she starts, the sooner we can get Echo back online. That's not how it works. The sooner we can get the police. Medea, look, I think Adelance would just need a moment. Fine, but I don't like it. Thanks for the input. Didn't ask. This is just a total mess. Echo and I have been in plenty of scrapes in the past, but every time it's always just been her and me, a dynamic duo. And if there's one thing I didn't take into account about a larger crew, it's that they always find a way to undermine my authority. <sighs> Breathe, Atalanta. You've been through way worse than this. You can do this. Just gotta step up and take charge. Ah, oh, damn it, piles of scrap. How much junk is there here? Whoa, whoa, wait, that's not- I shouldn't have stepped there! Ow! Oh, 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 stars, I'm, I'm so sorry. No, it's fine. Piles of a junkyard, you know? Here, give me a hand. Right, right. The person before me is tall, but with a round face, so younger than I'd assumed at first. They seem really at home picking through the rubble. Their steps are light like a fencer as they trot over loose scraps of metal, their thick hair kept in place by makeshift ribbons. Even though they're not exactly on stable ground, they don't falter. Their footwork is great. I feel a strangely sharp gaze scan my face, and though I don't know what the hell they find there, it must satisfy them, because they back down. <sighs> Sorry about that again, love. Don't apologize. I'm the one hanging out in a scrap heap in the middle of nowhere. Ah, uh, got it. So, this place, you said it was a junkyard? Sure is. Then why are you out here? I, uh, no reason. I come out here all the time. I'm an engineer. What I wasn't expecting to see was a huge ship slam right into the middle of the place. Right. The ship. Uh, the ship that crashed. That ship. Let me guess. It was yours? Uh, yeah. How'd you know? Let's call it a lucky guess. Anyway, this might be a bit presumptuous, but I'm assuming that you might need a help with repairs? Thanks, but we're all good. There was barely any damage. We're actually just about to leave. Right. And that's why I saw a big cloud of smoke coming from your landing site. Okay, fair enough. But look, don't you need, I don't know, tools or something? Got him right here. It's that way, right? Well, I mean, yeah, but... No. I'm not letting some kid onto my ship to do who knows what. We're fine. You can go now. Can your crew fix the ship? A drop like that probably hurt them. Don't they need help? No. Well, my friend is hurt. And if you could fix it yourself, you wouldn't be out here poking around a junkyard without any clue what you're doing. Do you even know what you're looking for? Well... Right. That settles it. You coming, or are you going to stand there gawking all day? Oh, fine. Fine, I'm coming. I... God. I want to argue with them, I really do, but I'm just tired. I don't properly trust them, and I still don't like the idea of bringing someone I barely know on board, especially not when Echo could be... Focus. Time for that later. Hey! You're back already? And I see you brought in another stray, after all. Hey, don't blame me. I know for a fact we didn't have any until Medusa, and she tagged along all on her own. Atalanta? Not the point. Who's the kid? Right. This is, um... I'm sorry, what did you say your name was? Ariadne. She and hers. That there is Medea, and next to her is... Medusa. Hi. I'm a software designer. She and Dave. Atalanta? Why is she here? I'm an engineer. She's offered to help us get the Argo back on its feet. 
Thanks, but didn't you just see we don't need any Medusa, help? Medusa, with... why don't you go show Ariadne where the damage is? <sighs> uh, alright, I guess. Keep the way, Pipsqueak. Hey! For your information, I am five foot one. What are you, fifteen? Sixteen. And six foot three. Ugh! Whoa. What's up with that? I thought you didn't want anyone else to help fix the ship. Well, yes, I don't. And I told her that, but she's an engineer. She's got to know something. I know she's an engineer, and I'm sure she's very talented. But why are you being so quick to change your mind about letting people on? I'm the captain, my orders. And speaking of changing your mind, I thought you wanted the help. Or are you just going to disagree with every little thing I say? Oh, this is how you want to play it? Fine then. What about Medusa? What about Medusa? I seem to remember you being happy to have her on board not so long ago, and now suddenly it's like everyone's your enemy. What makes Ariadne any different from Medusa? What makes her any different from me? I- I'm actually surprised it's still livable. Arthur may be old, but not that old. She's seen a lot, okay? And we love her very- Uh. Atalanta? Medea, you guys okay? Oh, I- uh, sorry about that. It's no dramas. Right. Hate to be a downer, but we don't have time for this. I... what? Well, the ship, of course. We need to get a move on if you're all gonna get back here before the night market closes. Sorry, what? Wait, why? What do we need to go for? The damage isn't irreparable. It'll take a good day's work from the three of you, though, so no slackers allowed. But I'm gonna need you three to fetch me a new capacitor bank. Yours is blown. Hold on, why didn't you say so when you were working on the AI Obviously she couldn't know what she was working with until she got a chance to see it for herself, Medea. Well, there's no need to snap at me about it. Atalanta, Medea, let's just, let's not start another argument now. Anyways, I need you all to make a trip to the Agora and buy another. You're gonna need it if you're ever gonna leave this rock. Alrighty then, so Medea can go find it. I can what now? No, it's... I mean, it's pretty huge. You'd need three people minimum just to lift it, let alone lug it all the way back here. Okay, I mean... I... I guess that tracks. Engine-grade capacitators aren't exactly the smallest thing. And you're sure Atalanta wouldn't be strong enough to carry it on her own? I'm flattered you think I'd be able to, love, but these delts can't be the answer to all our problems. Regretfully. Fine. What's in it for you? Yeah, I'd kind of like to know that too, actually. Just while we're bringing it up. What do you mean? You can't just march on in wherever you please, demanding to fix other people's ships, and then demanding they leave you alone with them to do stars know what. Not without a very good reason. Why are you doing this, and why should we trust you? Medea. Well, you have a ship. Everyone on this station is grounded. I'm sure you can put two and two together. Grounded? Grounded? Yep. I mean, you got a taste of the orbing debris firsthand. Any ship that tries to go through there... I... suppose you have a point there? As for whether you can trust me? Well, you can't. Not really. But it's either take my help and get your ship working again, or you're stuck here. Exactly. That a good enough reason for you, Medeo? Ugh... Okay, okay, let's get moving then. It's probably better to just get this shopping trip done quick. One thing, before you all head off. Because of that debris field I mentioned, business has been really rough. Numbered stock, hikes in prices, the whole package. Can't exactly trade much without the ability for ships to come and go. Great. What does that mean for us, exactly? The Agora can get a bit... unpredictable. All I can say is good luck. Unpredictable. Sounds about right for us. Medusa and Medea start making their way out of the junkyard. But I hang back a little to linger next to Iago, making sure Ariadne can't see me before I gently press my forehead against the dented metal hull. I know Echo can't feel it, but it's a thought that counts. I'm about to give her my customary goodbyes and love yous, but I think better of it and start picking my way through the rubble to the other two. I can tell her that when she's back. Oh, 
Ariadne was right about this place. It's obvious that the people are struggling. The floodlights that would normally light the place are all cracked and broken, and there aren't any proper city ships anyway. Instead, there's torches lodged in metal struts, casting soft firelight over the high-tech buildings. It's like a place from another time. As we get to the market, I can see little stalls of some kind. It looks like people have draped sheets across broken lamp poles and set up little scrap metal shops by the side of the road. I see dancers, jugglers, and... Are those clowns? Good evening, travelers. What brings you around this side of town? We're just looking for a capacitor bank. Do you know where we could find one? Near the show rink. That's where all the technology-based ware should be located. Great. Thanks for the tip. The streets are cheerful and busy, and there's laughter bouncing about all over the place. Honestly, it's a weirdly uplifting atmosphere. It reminds me of a long time ago, when I had less to worry about. I don't get to spend too much time in my own head, though, because Medusa ambushes me while we're walking. So, you and Echo aren't in love, right? <laughs> I'm sorry? Well, I noticed when she got damaged, you, uh, didn't take it super well. And there are always these, like, way too long goodbyes. And also you call her love all the time, and I don't know if that's just a you thing or anything, or... I call everyone love. I mean, you don't have to answer if it's an invasive question. No, no, it's, it's fine. I'm just not used to having people around to ask. Well, to answer your question, yes and no? She's not my girlfriend, if that's what you're asking. Uh, sister? Definitely not. We don't rib on each other nearly enough for that. No, but we're partners. And I love her deeply. Just not in that way. Ah. Uh, I... It's not because she's an AI, right? Because there have been studies into whether AIs of consciousness are capable of romantic attraction, and you two could totally date if you really wanted to. And... <laughs> no, no. I... I just don't see her that way. It's the same on her end. She is my best friend. We've been through a hell of a lot together and really... She's actually been all I've had since... well... Since the Argonauts. Oh. That... That sounds real nice. It really is. Speaking of Echo... What do you think of our newest acquaintance? Newest? Oh. Ariadne. Swell, Pipsqueak. I'm not she. A child. A literal child. I am a fool, 21 in three months, and she calls me a Pipsqueak. I cannot <laughs> believe the nerve of... <sighs> she does seem to know what she's doing now. Was not quite that way when I was younger. Must have a smart ass for one. But if she knows how to fix Echo, she must be very talented indeed. I'm taking your word for it. She did say we couldn't trust her, but at least we know we can trust her skill. Wait, where's Medea? Oh, stars. You two done nattering away in that corner now. I've found the capaci- The ca- Whatever we need. I've found it. Ooh. Okay, yeah, brilliant, but can you just... Can you just stay close for once? I was just over there. It's not my fault you two stopped to have a chat. <sighs> Whatever. Let's roll. Hey, excuse me. How much of a capacitor bank? Why, this capacitor bank? Oh, good lord. I gotta tell ya, it is pretty tough to find any of those these days. I mean, before the rubble shut us off from the world, they were troublesome at best, but in these hard times? Uh, well, I suppose I could part with it for, uh, 15,000 drachma. Guessing we can't afford that, then? Well, obviously, that's not their real price. There's haggling involved. So, how about... Ten? Ten thousand? Sure, let's start at ten thousand. Ah, sorry lady, but this part cost me seventeen thousand. Up 
front. I'm already selling it to you at a loss. Fifteen thousand or nothing. Nice haggling, Captain. Hang on. Would you still be saying that if I gave you a uh, uh, spare batteries, coolant, nutrient bar, or yeah, more spare batteries, but rechargeable? Um. Ah. These authentic signed autographs by one Heracles Hercules. Star of the Twelve Flavors? <laughs> oh! Wow! Golly! Yeah, throw in these and you can have it for 10k. Uh, sorry, mate, but that's still too much. We'll have to find it someplace else. Thanks, though. I'm taking these back. Ho <laughs> ho! Heracles Hercules. Heracles Hercules, where did you get these. Oh, just wait till Addy hears about this one. Listen, listen, they thought they would be in all- I remember back to what Ariadne said. said. Yes, yes, Business did. clearly has been rough lately. Even from a quick glance around, almost everything is five times as expensive as what you'd expect. I barely have enough money even before having to shell out for my pain meds. But looking around, I can see people laughing and smiling casually passing each other cans of drink and food. There's kids falling over themselves as they race each other to the end of the streets, and their parents bring out chairs to watch them from the sidewalk. People are starting to light candles as well, the warmth lighting up the run-down buildings on either side of us. Somewhere I can hear music, and my black mood lifts in the face of all this... light. Medusa is practically skipping ahead of us, Head swiveling in all directions as they try to take it all in. Medea is more composed, the flicking light around us casting shadows on her, making her sharp, sullen face look sharper and, well, a bit less sullen. She's looking after Medusa with a little smile that softens the usually scowl in the corners of her mouth. I can see her golden eyes reflecting the lights around us, and it kind of makes her glow. Like a torchlight, and she looks. Come one, come all, folks. Out there it might be just another day, but down here you've got the opportunity of a lifetime. Nosos may be rusting, but his muscles aren't. Who dares take on this beast of a man, this marvelous swordman, the magnificent Cyron? He's been undefeated for years. Will you be the one to bring him down? Whoever defeats this local legend will win the grand prize, 10,000 drachma! Ugh, they're holding show fights? Here? Come on, Atalanta, that's a tension we just can't deal with right now. Are you sure we can't have a look? Just for a second? Medusa. Oh, fine, fine, I'm coming. Medea looks ready to bolt, but something stops me from following her. Look, I know it's a bad idea. I haven't busted out the old broadsword skills from my days of the Argonauts in a while. And even if I had, it doesn't mean I stand a chance. But if we don't get this Kapasa thing now, we might never get another opportunity. Not if they're as hard to find as the shopkeeper says. So, who would like to test their skills against the mighty Cyron? Only 200 drachma and the chance to win a whole lot more! Me! I would. What? Splendid! Now come on up here and tell us about yourself, Ma! Atalanta. Wonderful, wonderful! Everyone, let's give it up for our challenger, Atalanta! That'll be 200 drachma, please. Yep, here you go. Thank you very much. And now, the mighty, the spectacular, Cyron! Winner of a thousand duels, finest swordsman this side of the Aegean. Will this brave woman manage to defeat our local hero folks, or will he pulp her like he has the last 827 challengers? We're taking bets now, folks. Champions, are you ready? Ready. Huh. There's not even gonna be a fight. You made a mistake challenging me, lady. Three! Whoa! As soon as the signal goes off, Siron lunges towards me, murder in his eyes. I sidestep, parrying the strike, just in time to dodge his offhand sword as it swings to cleave me in two. But I dodge that one as well. Ha! Better work on your aim, Missy. Damn it! You call that a parry? 
Oh my stars, I am an idiot. There's a reason he's a champion. He dodges everything I throw at him. My shoddy, half-forgotten footwork won't be enough to beat this guy. And if I don't switch up my routine fast, it might just be... Ugh, it might just be the death of me. Huh. All too easy. Uh, how's this for easy, you drongo? Huh. Uh. And Siron takes a handful of sand to the kisser. This girl did not come here to play. Oh, so that's how we're playing now, huh? Yeah. I'm quickly getting pushed back as he goes to my face with a knife. The sand did not help as much as I hoped, and the makeshift arena doesn't hold a lot of hidey holes. He pushes faster, lowering my options for attack. I know I won't be winning this. Really? You thought you could challenge me? Thought your honor could handle it? This has got to be the easiest fight I've ever had in this arena. Uh, you take that back! Ugh. And he gets me in the ribs. Pain sears from the hit through me. Forgot how bad battle wounds were. Stars clutching my side as I fall into the sand. Vision blurs with a combination of agony and the dust that cakes me on impact. Suddenly, I remember Medusa and Medea are in the audience watching me. And that dredges up some awful feelings. Shame, mostly. It's bad enough I failed as their captain, but the fact that they're watching this... I look for them in the crowd, but I can't see them. <laughs> well, at least they won't have to watch me die. I close my eyes as Siron raises his swords to my throat. Well, yield. I... <clears throat> what? I don't suppose that'll do it for him. We should get moving. Did you just throw the prize money at his head? Obviously. Now come on, Medusa and I moved the shopkeeper's capacitor bank onto a hover cart while they were watching you two play around with swords. You, you stole it? Yes, obviously. Now hurry up, this way. We hurry back to the Argo, newly nicked capacitor and all. My heart's still racing from the fight against Siron. He could have killed me. There are probably rules against it, sure, but that wouldn't matter if I died there and then, and gods, where would Echo be? It's all I can think about when we finally get back to Ariadne. She's welding something on the hull, fixing surface level damage. Something any of us could probably have done. Welcome back. Glad to have the three of you back safe and safe. We're back. Is Echo back on? Uh, about that, I can't fix her. What? Hold on. Let me explain. Pipsqueet? You strong enough to push the capacitor bank back to the engine room? Oh my- Stop calling me that! I am more than five years your senior- Medusa! And... Fine. Medea, help me out here. The damage around her motherboard is really delicate. I really don't have the skill set to fix her. She's in kind of a stasis. She was trying She's to still talking, might cause but I can't process any of it. At this sort of thing. The only Adelaide thing has... that was keeping me going- was the fact that Ariadne would be able to help Echo. She promised she'd be able to. Without that little glimmer of something to hope for, I'm lost. It's all I can do to not fall apart Did you right hear here. I said? Frankly, I don't Atalanta. see why I shouldn't. Atalanta. Atalanta. Focus. I know this is a lot right now, but you have to listen to me. One second, I can't focus on anything but the dread in my throat, and the next, I'm staring into Medea's piercing eyes. For a second, it's like she's staring straight into my head before she quickly turns away. On autopilot, I almost snap something about authority and chain of command and letting me panic because my best friend might be gone. But by now... I know what fear looks like in Medea. There's a hint of it there beneath the bright determination, and that's what stops me. Medusa hovering next to her looks like they're about to throw fisticuffs, their hair sparking in agitation, but they have that same look in their eyes. I am not the only person who cares about Echo here. I have a crew. I have Medusa and Medea. 
And they have my back as well. Okay. Okay. Look, if you help me, I can get you off the planet. I have a friend who can get your echo working. But... But she's stuck. In space. Specifically in orbit around Nasos. With all the debris. So... So, I'd fetch see if I had a ship. But I don't. I need yours. Oh, what? All right. Tell us about this friend. Z's an inventor who specializes in artificial intelligence and biomachines. And Z's damn good at it, too. I've known Z since I was a child. Z's not exactly a parent to me, but certainly more of one than either of my real ones. I trust Seer with my life as well as yours. Can I have a quick chat with my crew about this? If you have to. All right. Huddle time, gang. Uh, I don't want to be the one to say this, but she lied to us. You lied to us too, Medusa. It's different. There aren't any Olympians hunting her down. Everyone we've encountered has lied to us at least once. Except Heracles, I guess, but that's a low bar. So, you say yes. I... I don't know. I just want Echo back. We all do. So, what are our options? We could find someone else. You're a wanted criminal, Medusa, and I'm not exactly well-loved. Your ship is close enough, this could be our best shot at it. And if she really specialises in artificial intelligence, think what that could do for Daphne. <gasps> oh! I suppose we don't really have a choice, then. If it's Echo on the line. We... we always have a choice, Atalanta. The only thing that makes this option different is that it might just be our best one. It's one thing to fly a ship by yourself. It's another thing entirely to have a crew. Having Echo by my side was probably the only thing keeping me sane all those years I spent on the Argo. And now, I'm cut off from her. It makes me think of the people here on Nursos. Cut off from the rest of space by an orbiting storm of debris. Isolated. Lonely. But I don't feel as alone as I used to. I don't know if Medusa and Medea really trust me yet. Stars know I haven't given them much of a reason to. But I can trust them. I want to trust them. Maybe it's time for me to stop being a captain without a crew. So, what's the verdict? All right, Ariadne. What do you need us to do? Core Podcast is created and produced by Trenchco and Co Productions. This episode of Core Podcast, Nasus May Be Resting, featured Kit McNeil's Medea, MQ Quinlan as at Atlanta, Clary Jung as Medusa, Alexa Joseph as Ariadne, Kat Hawthorne as Echo, Lucas Robbins as Skiron, Sat D. Stefano as the shopkeeper, Angeli Pasupathy as the announcer, Jules Violet as the clown, and Hyan Lee as the tailspinner. Koro's music and sound design is done by the Koro team. This episode was written by Ray Bailey and the Koro crew. To find out more about all the wonderful people whose work goes into making this show possible, check out the show notes below. Do you want to support Cora? Tell your friends about us or post about us on social media with hashtag Cora Podcast. This podcast was made with no budget and lots of love by a group of friends, and so your support truly means a lot to us. You can find us on Twitter, Tumblr, and Instagram at Cora Podcast. Thank you for listening, and we'll see you for the next verse of our epic.